Joe Chaos Ross and I chronicle um, a lot of energy from Steph Curry in the first half. What did you see from him? I think he was a plus 28 there and uh, really brought a lot of energy, especially up to the incident between uh, Draymond and LeBron. Was that an incident? <laughs> He's on it didn't look like it. Look, looked like it just a normal foul, but I didn't see the replay. But uh, I thought Steph was great, um, phenomenal first half. Uh, he had ten assists. Um, his energy was great. He set the tone, <clears throat> and uh, he put a lot of pressure on the defense. And then um, obviously, I can I can talk about a lot of different people playing well tonight. Um, but uh, you know, defensively, to uh, to put that kind of pressure on and and. Uh, to rebound as well as we did to go along with that defense, we were we were uh, finishing possessions. You know, we were getting stops, but then getting the rebound that allowed us to get out and run. And Steph did a great job getting us going. Incident, um, and, and did, do you think it changed any kind of feeling of the game? It, it seemed like I mean, you guys were having a great first half, but it seemed like the energy ramped up after Draymond and, and LeBron. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't seen the replay, so. Um, I don't, you know, I, I can't really comment on, um, you know, what, you know, what exactly happened other than what I saw, and it just looked like a, a you know, a normal foul where guys in transition, you want to foul them and take away the fast break, and, and uh, obviously he went down hard and, the, and sold it pretty well, but uh, when I look at the replay, I might think, oh yeah, that was definitely flavor, but I haven't seen it, so it's tough to, uh, tough to assess, but it's a pretty big, strong guy. Did you feel like the energy changed? It changed a little bit, but then we got we recaptured the uh, the momentum and finished the half well. Steve, is there any point that the team of Warriors had if they have beaten you again after what happened in June and losing the other day, or is that just not something that's possible in June? And, and, I'm sorry. I, I think all that stuff is overplayed. Um, you know, they they beat us last year. They uh, they earned it. Um, but I think prior to that. Prior to them winning their three in a row last year, we had won, I don't know, six, seven in a row against them. And, you know, it's just the nature of, of the game. You get two two great teams and they're playing each other over and over again. You're going to have some swings in momentum, some streaks or whatever. But, um, you know, I, I don't really buy into that. I, I know last year, you know, we beat them in Cleveland in January by a lot and everybody counted them out and said we were in their heads and they won the whole thing. So, you know, I, I, I don't I don't pay too much attention to, to what everybody else is saying. So no sense that you get Well, we wanted to win. I mean, we, you know, we uh, we did we weren't happy with our Cleveland game on Christmas Day. Um, and uh, absolutely, anytime you, you uh, are facing a team uh, that you know is is one of the best in the league, um, you're going to be up for it. We were, we were definitely up for it. You could tell we had a lot of good energy and, uh, and played a good game. Steve, after struggling on the glass, you guys were pretty dominant in that yeah. respect today. What was the biggest difference in your mind? I think just the physicality that we brought. I thought Zaza was great. Uh, Draymond was tremendous. Um, you know, David West came in and did a good job. Uh, Andre was 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 terrific. The, the physicality. Um, you know, I didn't think we met that challenge Christmas Day, and um, tonight we met it. We were we were good defensively, and when you you know when you hold a, a team to 35 percent shooting. Um, it's 31 for 88, so they missed what 57 shots. And they only got seven offensive boards. That's that's phenomenal. So uh, much much better overall, just effort in terms of uh, uh, the physicality. This was the first time since Game Seven. Did you flash back to that at all? Did you bring that up to your players at all? Did that no. linger at all? No, they they know. <laughs> we all remember that, so I didn't have to say anything. Does the fact that a number of the games between you guys have been blowouts uh, make it easier for you guys to keep this game in perspective in terms of looking ahead, in terms of if you face them again, that maybe that's just the nature of how you team, how you two teams play? Um, you know, hopefully we'll have to think about that. Um, that would be great if we had to actually give that any thought, but um, we're well, halfway. Give it some thought now. Give it some thought now and address it. Yeah. Um, uh, speculate. <coughs> speculate as to what might happen in June if both teams are really lucky and we get there. Um, no, it's just you know, like I said, you, you uh, postseason's different. Playoffs. Um, what happens in January generally doesn't affect. You know, what happens later on 
that was proven last year. Um, it's probably proven most years, but it's uh, main thing is it's a it's a good win against a, a great team, and uh, we're halfway through and we're in a we're in a good spot. Ten. Great protection was talked about as such a weakness and potential weakness in the preseason. Do you feel like it's become a strength? This yeah. Year? Well, yeah, I mean, I, it, it really surprises me that we're number one in the league in, in block shots. But um, <clears throat> I think the activity level, when it's high, you know, we've got a lot of you know, long-limbed, uh, active defenders. And uh, we may not be the sort of prototypical big, strong team. But um, when we're active, you've got guys like KD and Draymond who are uh, able to get their, their hands on a lot of shots and around the hoop. Andre and Sean are, are you know, long armed. They can challenge shots on the perimeter. And it's become a real strength. And, uh, it's great. You must have at some point known he was going to be guarding LeBron for some some amount of time. You you guarded him. I seem to recall pretty well in the first game. How did you think he did in this game? How do you think overall? How do you like that matchup as the weight shaping up right now? Yeah, I thought he was great. Um, you know, KD was good on him. Uh, so was Andre. Um, you know, we're lucky we're able to. to uh, put different bodies on him, and, and uh, because you have to, because he's he's so good, he's so strong, and fast. Uh, you can't have one guy guard him the whole game. But I think we defended him well as a team. We stayed in front of him. Um, you know, we fouled a little bit in the first half. That's what kept them in the game for a little while. Was the free throws, uh, the free throw disparity. But uh, <coughs> all in all, um, you know, I thought we we did a really good job of making things hard for him and um, and you know let's face it he didn't have his best game so um, doesn't mean much for later on but but I'm happy with our defense tonight. Last one for Vaughn. John are being productive and energetic like they were tonight. How has that changed your floor dynamic and also does it alter your rotations much? Well it's, it's huge for us I mean those guys are, are both uh, big top players you know um, to, to be able to bring them off the bench um, you know Andre's been an all-star, he's been a finals MVP. You know, Sean is, is so gifted, talented, and, uh, you know, what he's done in his career is so amazing coming back from the injuries and, and uh, you know, just, but if, if not for the injuries, you know, we're talking about an all-star, multi-time all-star in, in Sean. So we're incredibly lucky to have the kind of depth that we do. But when they play with that kind of force off the bench, um, it really changes everything. And, um, it, it could change the rotation, you know, based on how the game's going. Um, but um, yeah, when when they play like that, it's uh, we're tough to beat. Great, thank, thank you. you.